Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. As Bloomington leaders look toward the city's future, they're trying to make getting around easier for residents, regardless of how they're getting places. A proposed transportation plan puts an emphasis on making streets more pedestrian friendly and includes major changes for Kirkwood Avenue. As Barbara Brozier reports, residents weighed in on those ideas at a meeting last night. Kirkwood Avenue is often considered the heart of Bloomington. It's where both visitors and locals spend a lot of time and money. But a new transportation plan reimagines this iconic street. The idea is to have it such that the um, people are able to use the middle space as well and then there's no curbs. The proposal calls for making Kirkwood what's called a shared street from Indiana to Walnut. While cars would still be allowed, they would travel at slower speeds. The concept emphasizes pedestrians and allows them to use the center pavement. A local survey revealed more than 70% of residents would like to see more special events and festivals on Kirkwood, and a consulting firm says a shared street would make that easier. Several people spoke during a meeting Thursday saying they like the idea, but some worry the proposal doesn't take into account people who have to drive. And I'm concerned about access in and around Bloomington by car for the elderly. I'm uh, very concerned about the safety as we uh, narrow the streets. Another controversial recommendation involves converting College, Walnut, Atwater and 3rd Streets into two-way roads. The consulting firm working with the city on the plan says the change won't disrupt traffic and will help businesses. The slower the traffic is, the more uh, streetscape um, that is improved it is going to help uh, the economic vitality of downtown. While some worry the change could limit on-street parking and cause major backups, others think it could be safer for pedestrians. Switching that to two ways, they'll have to, the drivers will have to look both ways. And that'll slow stuff down. Several other Indiana cities have considered similar changes in recent years, including here in South Bend. This main drag through downtown used to be one way until a couple of years ago when the city converted it to two. Rather than being a route out of town, they say it now encourages people to stick around. When we create that atmosphere, we have a greater likelihood of retail and business development to succeed. Since South Bend leaders started working on what they call their Smart Streets Initiative in 2013, they say there's been about $100 million in new investment downtown. They consider it more of an economic development plan than a traffic solution. More hotels, restaurants and shops are opening and the city says it's partially because they're easier to access. The one way streets were really highways through downtown and what that did is it created a way to evacuate the downtown. And we're trying to create a more connected system or more pedestrian friendly system. In addition to converting about eight miles of one way streets to two ways, the city narrowed roads, reduced speeds and changed the way pedestrians and cyclists use the roadway. So you can see over here, this is the bike crossing at the intersection. It's a separated bike crossing and it keeps the bicyclists safer because they're not with the street uh, on the street. and then creates a pathway for them through uh, the downtown and you can see there's a zone for pedestrians and there's a zone for bicyclists. While leaders view the project as a success, there were hiccups along the way. The construction created congestion downtown and the new traffic patterns themselves resulted in backups at points. And some residents couldn't be won over, arguing the $20 million investment could have been better spent. They're all lessons Bloomington leaders could learn from as they create a vision for this city's future. By many accounts, the downtown is already thriving, and some wonder whether changes to spur more economic development are best for this city. If you drive up from Kirkwood on College, on Walnut, and then turn around and come to College, it's almost totally developed. So I don't think that's an issue. The city will make changes to its plan based on resident feedback. It could go before the plan commission as early as September. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier. Now, several people told us what they think about the draft transportation plan on Twitter. 
Jessica says, I would love to see this here. Walnut are effectively highways and hurt our downtown. Plus, two ways mean one of them can be used for festivals and events without making it difficult to go around in circles. And David says, as a South Bend resident, let me say that money would be better spent on a citywide effort to eradicate potholes, replace streets that have patches on patches, and generally improving infrastructure. Don't forget, you can go on Twitter and leave your comment as well.